today we are putting grass on a cup, but not like your cup. Um, I don't know what the cup maker did for yours, Kristen. She had dill or the fake turf or whatever, um, and it looked really awesome. But this is a roll of grass paper that I got at Michael's. So um, we're going to act like it's a piece of fabric in a way, and we're going to adhere it to the cup. And this only has one coat of um, epoxy on it, but you can see it's pretty smooth, and, um, and it didn't take a long time, and you didn't have to do multiple coats of that dill or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, get us some tutorials. I, I, right now, I've been watching YouTube just trying to kind of learn just why the gravity feed works the way it does, why that little needle's even there, you know, um, just, you know, why pressure is different for different things. Um, just, I'm kind of, a, I have to break things down and then put them back together. So, um, that's what I'm trying to learn before I really play with the, the airbrush. Parsley flakes, yeah. See, Martinez is after get Alaska. Yeah, that sounds like fun for y'all. Gonna stay there for a while? Is it? Is it like the part of Alaska that is like daylight 24 hours? That's all I know about Alaska is that they have a lot of light and then they don't. And then um, my husband watches the um, Homestead Rehab, and they're in Alaska a lot. And I don't know how those people live off the grid. I need some air conditioning. So, um, so we got a few people watching. Uh, I was going to give you an update. So this was the cup that I did last night. Um, and I, I, I let, took the liberty on the um, tearing of this. So I'm going to, after I do more Mod Podge on this, because this only has that first initial layer. I'm going to take my little, had it, thought I had it, my smaller version of this one. And um, I'll line all those little uh, white spots, those cracks or whatever you want to call them. That's where the paper overlapped. And I'll sprinkle some red and black glitter mixture on it. Um, I mean, I could even do green for leaves or whatever. But, um, and that'll cover that up. Um, I can even paint it with black acrylic paint. And it'll cover that white up and so the the roses kind of have this fun fractured look. Um, but I probably won't chevron that one because it would be just too much going on. But this one um, I cut I cut all of the roses so there was none of that fraction going on. So if you if you don't tear it, if you cut it, then you don't have the white part on here. So this one didn't have any of the little fractioning covering up going on. So um, I was able to chevron. So this is what that looked like. There's just a few places that I need to touch up. Um, it is very difficult to pull that uh, chevron decal off while you have wet stuff. So um, those of you who do this with the epoxy method and you're able to pull off the chevron decal, I commend you because um, I was able to hold on to the cup for most of the time. But so that's what the chevron, I, I like it. Davey said it was busy, it's my husband. <laughs> but he kind of always has something like that to say. But um, I think it looks cool, it's different. And I got my first chevron out of the way. I learned what not to do. I'm still learning what to do. But um, so just an update. So today, this is what we're working on today. So, um, I have a cup here that I've sanded and cleaned with Blue Dawn. So this is um, ready for the, the grass. Yep. So, um, this, they have a smaller version of this roll. It's not as long. Um, I think this was around 11 or $12, but I used the coupon at Michael's on it. So, um, this is... 33 inches by something, by 25 inches. Um, so this one roll will will do a lot. Um, 
So I, I just figured, you know, go just get a bunch while I was at it in case it in case it happened to work, and um, it kind of did. So I was looks like grass. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna do golf or football um, on here. Um, I feel like I'll be driving home and I'll see a billboard and I'll get some inspiration. So this was the uh, it was in like, in like a gift wrap type long tube. And this was this came with it. So it's got some instructions. What this stuff is really for is if you have like miniature, like a fairy garden or um, trains. Um, that's what this stuff is for. You can see the picture. So um, this is like for a miniature apple orchard. Isn't that cute? So um, it has instructions on how to glue it down because the back side of it is real thick card card paper. Um, it's thicker than kind of what you would use to pack with pack you know package. So what I did with this was I cut it to fit around the tumbler and then I used E6000 to adhere it around the tumbler and just kind of got it real snug and got the, the holes out and so it just stayed one sheet and because the top and the bottom are exposed it seals the whole sheet into just kind of like the fabric gets sealed into the cup. Where's this from? Uh, hey Kim, thank you for joining us. Um, this is from Michaels. So um, I have a hot habit of, or I don't know if it's a habit. My favorite, one of my favorite things to do is just roam around Michaels and look at everything on every shelf and figure out if I can put that on a cup. And um, so this was over in the like miniature fairy section at Michaels. They don't really have a dollhouse section, but they have a lot of little miniature fairies and stuff. Um, and I, I had been wanting to make a grass tumbler. It was on my list, uh, my bucket list. And so I was thinking, well, what if I could wrap that around a cup instead of having to do the sprinkle of the Astro turf, um, fake turf or the deal or the parsnip or whatever. So, um, so I bought the roll. I think it was like $11, but I had the coupon. So I may have paid like seven or eight bucks total for this roll. And this is... I tried to find it online to put a link, but um, the ones that I found online were about the same price, but the description said it was vinyl. But this is not vinyl. This is um, paper. Um, so I don't know what the one online with the vinyl is. Um, but this uh, roll was is 33 by 25 inches. And they had a smaller one, so if you didn't want to buy the huge one, you wanted to just test it out, or you just needed one cup, you know, one or two cups, you could get the smaller one. Um, but you can see how they're using it. Um, here's pictures. So this is like a little miniature orchard. So they lay it out. Um, so these are a miniature, or like um, for a model railroad. So that's what this is uh, for. And there's instructions on if you were going to put it on something flat. Like you might even be able to put it like on a coaster. And then coat over it. So um, I'm really trying to come up with something fairy. Um, like maybe some water slides of um, some little stones and maybe a little door and some fairy stuff. I'm not, I really want to do something with fairies on this. Um, haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> so anyway, um, I wanted to jump on here and show you guys. So um, I'll put a picture of this. I kept this because I can't find this on Michaels.com. But it was in the store. The ones that I find on Michaels.com say they're vinyl roll. And I don't know if the description is just incorrect. Um, it seems about the same price. Um, so um, I'll take a photo of this so y'all can see this. But I got it in the store. Okay, so to put it on... I just, and this stuff does kind of um, sh shed, I don't know what the right word is, and um, it kind of will turn your fingers a little bit green, but it washes off, but um, just be prepared to maybe have a little bit of green mess going on, but we're kind of used to mess, right? Okay, so um, these are 20 ounce skinnies from Hog that I'm, I do it on, so um, I just kind of rolled it out, I'm going to turn you down, maybe I can see my workstation.
Let's <laughs> make sure y'all are still here. I got my iPad over here. Okay, so um, to adhere it, I have only used the Quick Hold E6000, um, but I would bet the regular E6000 would work as well. Um, this one has a very strong odor, um, and I don't think the price is much different, but um, I like I like them both. This one I think is a little bit runnier than the regular E6000, but um, it's called Quick Hold. And I buy this at Michael's or Joanne. Um, my Michael's won't let me use coupons on adhesive. Um, they may have just changed that. So I usually buy adhesive at Joanne with the coupon. Alright. So if you just joined us, we're putting um, grass paper on a tumbler to make a grass tumbler. So you can use just scissors to cut it. Um... It's not, it's not real thick or anything. My dogs are in here. Make sure I didn't run over them with the chair. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of like with wrapping paper. You just roll it out. You kind of just want to see what's going to go around the cup. cut from the other end. See that. And I did use the cup edging tool to get the edges um, nice and crisp. So if, if y'all don't have a cup edging tool, we can get you a link for that. regular shape tumbler very well or like a coffee mug um, you might be able to do it around some of it and then maybe um, like around the, just the top like maybe just put a stripe of it right here and then make the rest of it glitter or something and kind of hide it but I just don't think that this will lay down In any way on it on a any kind of Kirby tumbler it's because it's it's paper it's thick paper so if you had that question I'll do that Meg for sure I'm, I'm excited about the cup swap and you guys don't forget about the June tutorial challenge if you guys come on and do a tutorial or a how-to or show us something cool um in the month of june meg will enter you in to win a prize she's she's running that she's an awesome admin for sure so um i've got my piece cut off the giant roll and so you can see a little bit better it's just brown thick paper back here a little bit thicker than that butcher paper that you would use to um package something with. So if you don't have a cup edging tool, you might try to um, get it a little bit more um, trim. I'm going to trim some of this off just a little bit. Hopefully not too much. that overlap and this is the biggest part of it is that overlap part because um I mean it's not real thick so you could just leave it on top of itself when you glue 
The only thing that I noticed is if you do get the E6000 on top of the grass, it changes the way it looks. Now, under epoxy, it wasn't that noticeable. I don't know if I can get it. So this this is my seam. So this is my seam. I think you can kind of see it in the light. So all of this uh, is about uh, almost an inch. Got E6000 seeped out when I mashed it down. So don't do that because um, it looked real um, wet right there because the rest didn't get E6000 on it. But once I put it under epoxy, it really kind of disappeared. Um, I think I picked at it a little bit, so there were some bubbles. But um, the epoxy and the E6000 really didn't want to play as nice as the rest of it. I didn't seal it or anything. So my tip to you is when you are um, putting the E6000 on, which we'll do here in just one second, don't get it close to the edge. And that way, um, when you're mashing it, it'll just, what what you put on here will kind of creep itself toward the edge for you. So that's kind of why I wanted to show you, and because I feel like I kind of just showed you the product, and y'all could have figured it out, because y'all put fabric on cups all the time. But um, that was what um, was the, the kicker on this, was um, the E6000 did not do well. On the outside of this grass um, so I, I was thinking about maybe putting like a football stripe um, like a 50 yard line decal right there and then you wouldn't even know that there was anything I mean you really can't tell you have to be really looking close to notice it so um but if it did overlap I mean the hump this is only one coat of epoxy there is no hump really at all so um so it's up to you if you want to get the seam perfectly straight or if you just want it to overlap so this one's overlapping quite a bit so I'm going to trim it down just a smidge and I have to remember that um, since the cup has a little bit of a taper I don't want to trim in a straight line just like with the fabric There's still quite a bit of overlap toward the top. I wonder if I could draw. So this is what um, Carmen was showing earlier with the rotary tool. But I don't think I could make a straight line right now, especially since it's not actually glued. So we're going to keep using scissors. Just so that that overlap isn't as large. So some people will make a template. I think I have one around here. Um, just use a regular sheet of paper and make a template of the size of the cup. Then you could pre-cut it and that would be even better. Um, I think I even have one on my Cricut but um I would guess that this would um this sticky mat would pull up all of the grass so I wouldn't but you could probably cut it I don't know I'll have to try okay so this might be as good as it's gonna get there's about half an inch of overlap so this is where I just start y'all can still see me yeah. and you could use a brush if you want you just you're really trying not to get it on the outside and 
And so as you mash anything that's close to the edge, it will get to the edge. So I didn't know when I first did it if this was going to be wet, but the E6000 is not seeping through this paper. But I can feel that it has grabbed. See, it's, it's holding it on now. So, I know y'all probably can't see completely, but I'm just going to do this other side and I'm not going to cut. I'm probably going to leave a good two inch gap right here. So that the glue will just kind of move itself to the edge and um, instead of me putting it there to because then it will move out and it might even do it. We'll have to see. Alright, cross your fingers. So I'm using the pressure from the table to kind of smash that glue around. So, um, once this is dry, I will take a sharp blade and re -put, it, put it in my um, cup edging tool from Wicked Shimmer Supplies and I will um, trim the bottom and the top so that it looks like this. So when I put epoxy on, I'm sealing the entire sheet of grass paper into the cup. So if I lift this up. You can see it, did, it didn't come as far as I thought it would. So I need to put a little bit more on there. But the question is how much is too much. So, so when you guys try this, remember less is more. <laughs> but you do want to make sure that you get it. You do get it good sealed. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I let it dry for a good day or two because I have like a lot of other projects that I'm doing. So see, my hands got a little bit green. They're not. Um, they're not horrible. There was one review I read today when I was trying to figure out if that one online was the um, paper version, and somebody said that their hands got awful green. And I mean, they're a little bit green. They're they're not awful. And um, so if you guys try this, let me know if y'all come up with a better way to glue it on. Um, I don't trust Mod Podge to be a strong enough adhesive for this stuff. So you can see I got it almost to the edge. See where it's wet? It's kind of like playing with fire. How much is too much? And if you had something, as long as you didn't get that glue to come all the way out, if you had something you can lay it in. Like, um, I have these decal holders, so um, I'll put these, put this down. Kind of there, that's what I do with my dragon scale. And it kind of holds it together while it's drying. So I wait until this is good and dry before I trim my, my rims. Is that blue? This is green grass. So this was the only color Michaels had. And it's a good green. Um, and so it's 
got it's got some depth to it when you look at it under the epoxy. Um, kind of like felt, but uh, but it's I don't know. Once I feel like once I put more epoxy on it, it'll get real real good depth to it. I mean, it's already got some as well. There's only one layer of epoxy on here, so you can see that it's sealed in really well. It's not it's not coming off. But um, if I wanted to paint the edges. I could, um, Sarah did a really good, um, tutorial a few weeks ago on how to paint your rims after you've epoxy. Um, so you check that out. You can just search for hashtag live and, um, it'll come up. And we also have an album of our lives. Probably getting glitter everywhere. Put your, put your lid back on your glue. Um, we also have an album that we're trying to store our lives, um, into, uh, in the photos. But if you search for hashtag, is that, oh, what is the glue? <laughs> um, so if you search for hashtag live in our group, you'll come up with our live. So check out that live that Sarah did on how to paint these. So um, I feel like if you could paint it white and put some football um, or even hunting, some ducks, um, lawn care. If you um, know someone who has a lawn care company, this would be great for them. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on this one. So, um, but it, I'm also, I don't like doing decals, so <laughs> my cups sit over there waiting on decals for a long time. Um, Michaela, this glue is E6000, and this is the quick hold, um, this is the regular E6000, and this is like, I think it says for crafting, um, I don't think that there's a difference. This one is, um, I think, a little bit runnier, and it smells awful. Um, I think the price is about the same, and you can use your coupon at Joanne on either one of these. This one, I think, is thicker. Um, but for some reason, I don't mind using this, so, uh, so I use it, and it's purple. I like purple. So, um, But the key on that this is do not let that E6000 touch the top of the grass because it will turn it um, wet looking and that wet look does kind of show through under the epoxy um, but when I went to epoxy this I didn't seal it I didn't spray any kind of spray sealer on this I just um, put a generous coat of um, epoxy straight on top of it um, I didn't do it real thin because I feel like if I was doing it real thin I might rub off you know part of that grass because there's just paper underneath that so if you rub too hard I feel like you will make it bare so um just did it did a, did a pretty generous coat of epoxy and um, I think it turned out great but that um really doesn't take a lot it doesn't take up a turner to do um like like the um some of the other ones where you have to put epoxy down and sprinkle it and let it rotate for a while so um, I really kind of like this method um, this just rolls up and stays rolled up up with my vinyl um, and I, I'm gonna get a lot of cups out of this one roll so um, if you have any thoughts or you know concerns <laughs> I'm always when, when I try something new I'm always worried that um, you guys will see how that will fall off or something so you know feel free to you know give us any kind of feedback when we're doing these lives but this was the, and I'll put a picture of this um, on this live so y'all can see it. I could not find the link to this on michaels.com today. I looked. The one that was coming up said it was vinyl roll. And I, it, this one is not a vinyl. This is paper. Um, I did find a link to one that looks the same on Amazon. But of course you can't use the coupon. So um, I was able to use a coupon. This was about 11 or $12 I think. And I used the 50% uh, off coupon on it. And this large roll was 33 by 25. And this one's huge. So you could probably get like 15 cups out of this. I'm guessing. Um, and they had smaller rolls. So if you didn't want a larger roll. Yep. Okay, well that's um, really, I, I tried to say it was going to be a quick live. Because um, I didn't want to keep you for a whole hour. Um, but if y'all don't have any more questions, and I'm not seeing anything else, then um, I will let y'all go and enjoy your Tuesday evening.
But um, show me what you guys come up with with this. Um, I'd love to see it. And um, let us know what you do differently and if you can fit it on different shapes. Um, but I think that we could probably cut this out and put them in coasters too. Um, and I think it might look pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. We can just we can play with it. But um, it's a whole new whole new ball game. Um, and if you, I'm thinking also, if you put it face side up, the grass side up on your Cricut mat. Put it face side up and you reverse cut some um, letters. You might be able to cut letters in out of a name. Like, you know, um, or shapes or something. But I would not put it the grass side down on the sticky mat because when you go to peel it up, all your grass is going to come off that paper. But if whatever you're cutting, maybe you cut in reverse so that when you pick it up and put it on your cup, it'll be correct. So, um, so the, uh, I think, I think there's like some good possibilities with this, guys. This trimmer is from Wicked Shimmer Supply. Um, Corey Durstetter. I always just know about Corey. This is called the Cup Edging Tool. And she has her own group for this. Her husband 3D prints them. And um, you can buy them from her. They're super awesome for um, all your fabric cups. Um, like this is a, that thick um, uh, scale fabric that I use. I, I was able to cut that. And you can adjust the height so that it will cut where you want it to cut. And you just buy the blades at Walmart or Home Depot or wherever. So you can see that the top edge is a lot thinner than my bottom edge. Because you just use a screwdriver uh, to adjust how high you want that, that razor. So this is the cup edging tool. And it's super awesome. Uh, <clears throat> and you, She's um, Wicked Shimmer Supply. Any questions about anything, just send us a message and we'll be free to, we'll be happy to help you guys out. So show us your cups. Y'all have a great night. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.